Hey guys, it's Nina and Kat in Read Something, Write Something. And like yesterday and the day before, we're going to start out with a sonnet. Sonnet 3. Look in thy glass and tell the face thou viewest. Now is the time that face should form another. Whose fresh repair, if now thou not renewest, thou dost beguile the world, unbless the mother. From where is she so fair who, whose unendeared womb disdains the tillage of thy husbandry? Or who is he so fond will be the tomb of his self-love to stop posterity? Thou art thy mother's glass, and she in thee calls back the lovely April of her prime. So thou through windows of thine age shalt see, despite of wrinkles, this thy golden time. But if thou live, remembered not to be, die singled, and thine image dies with thee. Sonnet 3. Sonnet 3. There you go. Second part is actually this time a book that both of us have read. And it's been quite a while for both of us. But it's Peace Like a River by Leif Anger. And he was actually born in our home state, so Minnesota. that was pretty cool, like 40 miles away from where I was born, so that's pretty awesome, just saying. And um, basically, Peace Like a River is a book about a boy and his family who lost their mother and wife, um, and so it's just the dad taking care of his three kids. And they go on this sort of adventure after, well, I guess pretty much the main plot point happens, which I'm obviously not going to give away, because that would just ruin the whole thing. But you should read it and find out what it is. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've read it twice, both times for school, um, and I actually just passed my copy on to a friend so that she could read it so I don't have it with me. But, I mean, it's a little bit more of a lengthy book, but it's definitely good. And it's worth it, even yeah. if it is a little bit longer. Yeah, so. it definitely has some religious qualities in it, kind of like our book yesterday, Siddhartha. Siddhartha. Um, I mean, the dad kind of resembles Jesus, according to the main character, Reuben. Um, but, yeah, check it out. It's a pretty good book. It's supposed to be becoming a movie. Apparently. It's supposed to be, according to Wikipedia. And according to Wikipedia. You know, if it's on the internet, you can't be wrong. Exactly. So. I mean, it's Wikipedia. Yeah. But, um, so into our third section from the book, 100 Words to Make You Sound Smart. The book. Um, your favorite word, angst. Angst! Is a noun. A feeling of anxiety or apprehension. It's from German angst, because that just kind of sounds like a German word, doesn't it? It kind of does. Yeah. Um, so yeah, feeling of anxiety. Remember, you know, Potter Puppet Pals, Harry's beating his head against the wall. Angst! Angst! So, angst. That's the word for the day. You so should much, use it. So much angst. Use that word all the time. If you don't already use that word, there's something wrong. Most likely. Because it's awesome. And you don't even have to use it when you're feeling angsty, just... Exactly trying to annoy someone pretty much angst 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 yes. anyway that's our video for today guys bye read something write something <laughs>